If someone this time last year had told me that this was going to be my life right now, I would have wanted to believe them, but I probably wouldn't have actually believed them. This is the little video that I made after my Q&A video at the end of camp this year. I think it's really interesting to look back on it now because some of the things that I talk about have now come, kind of come true in my life. So I don't know if you guys believe in that kind of thing, but here's the video. <laughs> I'm not really sure why I'm videoing this part just yet. I don't know if I want to keep it for myself to remind myself of how much I just absolutely love it here or if it's something that I'll ever put online. I know that I can sometimes be quite a dramatic person, but I'm not being dramatic when I say that doing summer camp and working in America has been the best choice I've ever made with my life. And I've never been happier and more myself. And I really hope that I either can be able to come back and do this long term or that I can find something else in life that makes me as happy as camp does because this feels pretty good. <laughs> it feels incredible to find a place like this. It's just, it's crazy how I made that video and I made this comment in particular. Or that I can find something else in life that makes me as happy as camp does. How I was hoping that one day I would find something that would make me just as happy as camp. It's really exciting is that I did. <laughs> Okay, so that is the start of this video. I will now go on to explain this and yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> 2018 was awful. It was a shit show to put it lightly and it was probably one of my least favorite years of my life. But the optimistic side of me knows that that year had to happen for me to be as happy as I am with life right now. Yeah, at the end of last year, I topped off the year by breaking my foot <laughs> and then had to have surgery to get a screw put in it and was in a cast throughout the whole of summer. It didn't really stop me from doing anything. I still went to Bali for my birthday and I photographed Falls Festival. I had an amazing year this year. I started the year with the mantra of good vibes only. I just wanted to come into it with the most positive attitude possible and it was. It was an amazing year. I finished my last semester of university Yes! Had a bit of a heartbreak this year, which kind of sucks. On the flip side, I did get to go back to America and I got to have the most amazing summer at Camp Echo Lake. Met people that are now family to me and I really just fell in love with life again this year. I graduated the day after I landed back in Perth from America. I now have a bachelor degree of arts, majoring in public relations and photography. After graduation, I went straight into job hunting, which was not an experience I enjoyed very much. So after a while of doing that, I was like, this kind of sucks. <laughs> I want to earn some money and just kind of get settled back into Perth life. I started casually swim teaching again. Swim teaching is a job I have done for almost seven years, which is crazy to think of. And I started delivering flowers for a company I used to deliver for a couple of years back in university. And then one day in October, I got a call from someone that I have never met, but I know of because of communication that we've had with each other over the last year or so. They called me and they told me about the job opportunity that was available and that they were quite interested in encouraging me to apply for it. After they told me about the job, I was like, this is a no brainer. Yes, sign me up. I want to apply for this. And about a week later, they were like, cool, we want to interview you and I was like as if who gets interviews for their dream jobs <laughs> in my eyes I thought I did pretty good in the interview and that I might have a relatively good chance of possibly getting the job and I did <laughs> I got the job <laughs> the job is as a USA program coordinator at IEP which is the agency that I used in 2015 to go to camp and also this year to go to camp so the reason I'm making this video is because I have some really big, exciting, life-altering news that I want to share with everyone. I have signed the contract, yeah I have, and that I will be moving to Auckland, New Zealand to work this role. I love Perth so much. Do not get me wrong, I am the biggest fan of this city. I will come back here one day, I will settle, I will do the normal thing, you know, partner, house, pet, baby, that kind of thing, one day here. But right now, I'm almost 25, I've just graduated, I know what I love in life, and I feel like that is just such a rare thing to have. So I'm just gonna follow it, and I'm gonna see what happens, because it feels like the right thing to do. I'm terrified, but 
I know I can do it. I know I'm going to be okay. I figured if I can move to Madrid, to a country where I don't speak their language and they don't speak mine very often and get through that, I think I'm going to be okay moving to New Zealand. So to recap all that madness, on the 5th of January 2020, I will be flying to Auckland, New Zealand, where I'll be living and working for six months. Then I am coming back to Perth for a week before I fly to London for two of my best friends wedding and then straight from the wedding I'm flying straight back to Camp Echo Lake for summer 2020. Anyway, so thank you for letting me share that news with you and I'm very excited for my big move to New Zealand and I hope to be able to make more videos soon. But also let me know if there's any kind of videos that you want to see me make, whether it's about camp or moving overseas or packing because we all know how much I love a packing list. Um, let me know in the comments down below what kind of videos you want me to make because I would love to make them for you. 